I'm going to show you guys how to paint this ice cream sundae. It goes really well with the series that we've done so far where we've had a cupcake and a chocolate macaroon. I'm looking for an idea for the fourth one. So if you guys have any ideas for a fourth suite to go along with this series, I send that my way and I'll see what I can come up with. Okay. So in order to get started, you're first going to need three brushes. You're going to need this one inch large flat brush. You're going to need a half inch filbert brush and then a small pointed brush. This is a number six. So here you can see I've got all my paints already laid out. Um, I plan on this taking about 45 minutes for me. It may take you about two and a half hours. So um, I've got my titanium white, zinc mixing white, my yellow cadmium, yellow okra, magenta, crimson, cobalt blue, Prussian blue, and it's burnt umber. Okay. And then of course your paper towel and your water. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is wet my brush a little bit with some water, and I'm going to outline where I want my ice cream sundae to go. So I'm going to grab some of the cadmium yellow, which is the brighter yellow, and a little bit of that mixing white just to thin it out a little bit, thin down the color a little bit, add some more water. So now I'm just going to kind of place it where I think I'm going to want it. One thing kind of note here is the shapes that I'm putting in here. So I've got my almost triangle, a little circle, and then I'm going to put another circle as the base. doesn't matter if I get it perfect, I'm just putting it in here. for now. And I'm going to put, put where I want my horizon to be. So I'm kind of pretending this is on a table. Now I'm going to start blocking in my color. So I'm going to actually switch brushes to a bigger brush. Go ahead and block in your ice cream sundae. Okay, and with your bigger brush, your one inch, Take that yellow and some white. It doesn't matter if you get it all mixed up. You notice I've got a big hunk of white and some a um, little bit of yellow. I'm gonna just X it in. If I want to thin it down a little bit, make the water, uh, make the paint work a little better. I'm gonna add some water. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now I'm going to do the same for the blue. Wipe off your brush pretty good, rinse it off. And we're going to grab that cobalt blue, which is the brighter of the two blues. And we're going to block in where the tape I'm going to start messing with this. It should be fairly dry. So I'm cleaning off my brush. I'm actually going to switch to the half inch. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take some of the white and some of the yellow okra. Oh, different yellow color. I'm just going to place that in here. So I'm going to grab some water to make it spread around a little better. So this is going to be the ice cream. The dark parts of the ice cream. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting in some darks where I want my chocolate to be. So I'm going to grab some of that burnt umber and start laying that in here. I like it settling in the bottom of the cup. 
one thing I'm doing is I'm starting from the bottom and I'm pulling the color up because I want it to be darkest at the bottom. While I'm here, I'm also going to go ahead and use some of this burnt umber to put some of it kind of filling in, like it's falling over the ice cream into the edges. I'll come back and darken these things up a little bit too. Now you'll notice I'm kind of avoiding a spot right here. That's where the glass is. So it's already taking a little bit of a glass shape. So I'm following in with where the scallops are of my glass. Grab some more of the burnt, burnt umber. I'm just going to start building on it. And I'm just dabbling. It's like you gotta have a shaky hand to kind of get that icing, ice cream look with the drizzled on there. Okay. Go ahead and start working on that. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, now I'm going to start switching my focus around. This is pretty dry down here. So I'm going to work on my napkin. So I'm rinsing off my brush very well. And I'm going to go grab some of that magenta, that real pretty. I'm going to just kind of block it in. And it's okay if you go over that glass a little bit because you're going to see that glass pulls in color from all around it. So I'm even going to go ahead and touch a couple spots in there. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and get underneath here. I'm going to take some of that dark blue, the Prussian blue, and come up under here. And I'm going to go ahead and start uh, putting some of that Prussian blue underneath my napkin. Make it stand off a little bit. I'm also going to put some of it in my napkin because I want it to look like it's a little bit wrinkled. I'm going to take some of this cobalt blue and start pulling some of this color out from underneath it. There we go. Now I'm going to darken up my area around there. Now I'm going to add some texture to the uh, placemat by adding some highlights on the lights. The lights, I'm just taking some cobalt blue and I'm making it look like there's a wrinkle in it. I'll play with that a little bit. Adding some of the Prussian blue. Kind of blending it in. Now I'm going to add some white because I really don't want this back here to stand out all that much. I'm not adding white, I'm adding the highlights to the fabric.
And I'm going to come back in here into my pink and start also adding texture to that. So I'm taking my pink, magenta, I'm just going to add and build on what I've already done. And again, I'm going to take the, the white, then I'm going to play with the white, magenta, and the crimson red to get the effect that I want. Let me come back to let that and play a little bit once I start working on this a little more. It's important to keep on moving around the canvas so you don't focus on any one spot. It's really easy to focus on one spot and get extraordinarily detailed in that one little area. And what you want to do is kind of make your eye travel all the way around. So um, we focus on everything first and then whatever you want to focus on. Like here, this is what I'm going to want in my focal point. I'm going to save that really for last. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is take some of my blue the cobalt blue and a little bit of yellow and I'm going to call this out up through here because if you look at a glass a lot of times you'll see some blue reflecting off of it that's what we're going to do so I'm going to take my blue and a little bit of yellow and it's mostly blue and a lot of white and you'll see the color that I'm making it's kind of a uh, pukey green maybe I'll go uh, Peridot. Okay, so I'm going to take it and pull it up. Now where you touch your canvas with one color, you got to touch it a couple other places with the same color. So I'm making the line stand out a little more. Maybe my glasses actually got a green hue to it. That'd be pretty. Alright, now I'm going to take some white and make my glass stand out down here because I still want that, those round balls to show down there. Okay, now I'm going to take some of this blue and I'm going to have mostly blue and white. So it makes a nice light blue. And I'm going to start bringing in those colors down here. And again, I just play with the colors where I want them. You notice I'm going outside of the glass where, you, where the ice cream is because you're going to see the whole glass around it. Okay, I'm grabbing some white. I'm just going to start really kind of making my glass reflect the light a little more. Right now I'm just using that mixing white, so it really kind of blends in a lot. I'm going to switch that here in a little bit to that titanium white to really call this out. Now let's see that's off a little bit. I'm going to fix that. Just by making my base a little bit wider. things I'm also going to do is flip this over. Sometimes it's easier to see where you messed up. If you flip it over, it gives you a different perspective. So you don't necessarily look at it as though it's a ice cream sundae, but it's more of an object so you can kind of see what's wrong with it. And like here, I can really see that I need to fix this line right here. So I'm going to take my yellow and my white and just kind of fix it. Grab some titanium white because titanium white does a better job, much better job of covering up than the mixing white. Alright, so now I'm going to start adding in a lot of highlights. I'm going to use my titanium white for this. It's the thicker of the whites and it's 
and it will really pop. So what I'm doing is every so often I'm touching the glass with some of this titanium white to give it more of a 3D effect. You touch every so often, you give it a hard edge, soft edge, hard edge, soft edge. And same down here. Down here I'm going to switch to my pointy brush. This one. I'm going to still keep on using my titanium white to add in the highlights down here. Now I'm going to work on the ice cream. So for this I'm going to use my round half inch and again I'm going to go to that titanium white, the really thick white, and I'm just going to blob it on there. Now um, I'm going to start darkening things up. I'll switch to this brush and get my burnt umber. There you go. <laughs> it's hard to see the color. Okay, and start filling in where I want the hot fudge to be. So you notice we're doing layer upon layer. So now what I can also do is I can take some of that Prussian blue and that brown, mix them together and get a really dark brown because I really want this stuff to show its depth I'm really in those crevices of the ice cream. And again, pull it up. So I'm going to switch and start working on my napkin down here because all this is completely dry now. Well, that's leftover paint, but there you go. <laughs> I'm grabbing some of the magenta and white and I'm going to start going with some highlights through here. So I'm going to take some of the same color and bring it into my cup because it's reflecting the colors from all around it. And I might just add a little bit up here too. Okay, and I'll go back over that in a minute with some white to kind of set it back. And now I'm going to grab some of the Prussian blue and go right under my, the base of my sundae. magenta and pull that dark color out. Right now it's just a little bit too thick. Prussian blue, the dark blue. I'm going to go ahead and go underneath my napkin. So it sets out just 
a little more. Now I'm going to go back over some of this and add some more highlights. So I'm going to take my flat brush, the half inch one, grab some of the mixing white, which is that thin white, and this should be pretty dry. Yeah, it's dry. And I'm just going to drag it up over it. Kind of set it back just a little bit. I'm going to take my thin brush and some of that titanium white, the thick white. And notice I've got a pretty good glob on there. Let's see if I can get you to see it. There we go. See that big glob? And I'm going to chunk that on there. Now I'm going to add my cherry on top. So for this I'm going to take my round brush, my one half, my half inch, and I'm going to use the red. And I'm going to make a circle up here. It's a big cherry. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. While I add some more texture down here. So again, I'm playing with the cobalt blue, the Prussian blue, and white. Okay, and work on my chair. Okay, so the cherry, I'm going to take some of the, a little bit of the Prussian blue, that dark blue, and give it a little light. Let's see if I can show you this. Okay, I'm going to wipe off my brush and grab some of that red again and pull it in. Set it back here in a minute. Okay, and then with the cherry, you also always have a dark spot up in the top where the stem goes. So I'm going to take my smaller brush, the Prussian blue, and add that in right there. Okay, and then with my smaller brush, I'm going to take some of the red with a steady hand and a little bit of wet brush I'll make my stem okay now I'm going to add some highlights to my chocolate with the cobalt blue and the white so if you remember in the chocolate painting where we did the uh, macaroon wherever you see chocolate there's actually blue highlights. Now I'm going to set this cherry back a little bit like it's sitting in the ice cream by grabbing some of my titanium, titanium white and just kind of Bringing it over a little bit.
I'm going to wait for that to dry just a little bit. I'm not going to add, I can stand a few more little highlights down here. Add a highlight up here, my stem, and on the cherry. Got to dampen it down a little bit. You can use your finger. There we go. And then sign it. <laughs>